So my interaction with MetaZoo was I gave it a fair chance. My girlfriend loves Hello Kitty. When we went to Vegas, the only souvenir she wanted to get was like a Hello Kitty Halloween ghost outfit with like a, a sweat short or a Hello Kitty on it. So she is a huge fan of Hello Kitty. We have a lot of Hello Kitty merchandise. Even I have t-shirts. I have two t-shirts from Hello Kitty. She has probably two dozen t-shirts. So when they announced that Hello Kitty would do a collab with MetaZoo, we thought, you know what, uh, let's give it a chance, let's give it a go and uh, see what happens, right? So we, as well as every content creator on MetaZoo space, thought that the Hello Kitty would be released for Halloween. It was announced as a Halloween set, and that would be perfect because CollectorCon Houston was, I think, a few, maybe two weeks after Halloween or something very close to Halloween. Maybe a week. And we thought, you know what, that would be great. Uh, we would really enjoy that. Well, um, it got delayed. And uh, we didn't go to Collecticon. Uh, and this is disappointing, right? Because you're expecting this. Uh, my girlfriend really doesn't know much about timelines and, you know, like cards and things. So it would be a really good way to get her introduced to cards, would open some packs. And, you know, I was fully expecting to have a very positive experience buying this product at Collecticon, and they did not deliver. Okay, okay. And even worse is when I study MetaZoo, it is just a company that lies. The company lies and lies and lies. And <laughs> let me read you a letter. This isn't a letter from a year ago. This isn't a letter... This is a letter from December 15th, 2023 to the MetaZoo community. And in hindsight, it is filled with lies. You don't write this letter. What, what is the point of writing a letter if you cannot back it up? Okay? You are a card game. This isn't little kids anymore. You're running according to Nick, Nick's strength in Pokemon. Nick's strength in Pokemon, I know the name now. You're running a huge company, $50 million revenue a year. That's according to Mike himself. This isn't time to lie. So, letter to the MetaZoo community. 2023 has been quite the year. We're doing and we'll continue to do everything in our power to make sure MetaZoo becomes a household brand name for many generations to come. In marketing, this is called puffery. It is legal, but household brand name for many generations to come. What about a household name for this generation? Can you just do that? As we finish out December, and before we reveal the roadmap for 2024 next week, which was not revealed next week, so that is a lie, uh, they made a very simple roadmap uh, pre-orders. So they are going to rectify. This is a failure on our part, and we are going to rectify it. We will be updating our shipping hub with detailed we, details weekly for those pre-ordered items starting next week. Again, pre-orders, you got to charge them back. They're not happening. Like when you're closing down the company, pre-orders is not something on the high priority list, right? The company itself is shutting down collaborations they make it seem like oh hey you know metazoo will instead only be seeking the license or ip the third parties who take on the role of production themselves let me let me explain how this i'm an ip attorney <laughs> let me explain how this works guys sam rio is the bigger ip metazoo is not licensing their cryptids to sam rio and sam rio is making the card game for them no, Sanrio is licensing their Hello Kitty product, which is a far more important license and far more expensive license, to MetaZoo. Like, I suspect that most of these collaborators, I don't know all the collaborators, but I would know that as an IP attorney, as a IP license, they talk a shit ton about IP. I don't think anyone 
knows a, a lick about IP in this company. I've been an IP, I've been an IP attorney for over 10 years now. I can tell you how this works. Sanrio licenses its IP. MetaZoo pays money. That's why MetaZoo is using its own printing facilities because it paid money to license the IP. Sanrio doesn't give a damn. They, they license their IP to H&M Clothing. They license their IP to Five Below. They license their IP to Squishmallows. They have a, every seasonal holiday Squishmallow you can imagine. Probably 20, 40, 50 Squishmallows they've licensed. They license their IP to water bottles. Like They license a lot of IP. MetaZoo working with Hello Kitty isn't as partners. They just purchased the license. That's not a win. Anyone can purchase the Hello Kitty license. I could purchase it from my marketing agent. You, you think I'm joking? I'm not. I am not. I deal with this on a monthly, if not weekly, basis for some of my clients. Right? We actually work with the one of my previous clients worked with the Houston Astros. What can you light? What can you put on your advertisement? What red flags you have to do? You know, we want to see the advertisement. We want to sit in a room and talk about the advertisement. This is licensing. Licensing is MetaZoo paying Sanrio. They're not partners. This isn't a good thing. This is them just spending money they honestly don't have. Corsets. Corsets are the lifeblood of MetaZoo because local game stores are the lifeblood of any TCG. Now, this is a total lie. Not the I, I believe local game stores are the lifeblood of any TCG. I believe I don't believe they believe it. And I can point out one really serious flaw. If you are a game store, okay, and you buy this product for $70 or more from your distributor, right? And you're trying to, you know, the you're trying to sell it for $140, I think the MSRP, and maybe you can try to sell it for $100, whatever you're trying to sell it for, and you're competing with these gold medal winners, this alpha investment dude who has his own promo worth hundreds of dollars, right? And then the box goes to $20 because what's happening is the people with their own promos are able to sell. And then because, hey, I'm going to give you a box for $120 and I'll give you my Argos promo of it. And the Argos promo is worth some money to you, right? Well, you're trying to sell for $140 as a local game store because that's what they told you to sell at. Otherwise, they would cut you off. And you realize, wait, this box is going down to $70. Now it's $60. Now it's $40. i am talking about Hello Kitty. Like Hello Kitty, I think hit like 50. I don't know what it is right now, but it wouldn't surprise me if it was less than 50. So let's just think with our heads a little bit, right? Let's think of our heads a little bit. Just, just a tiny bit. Let's do some brain cells. What local game store would ever, ever buy a product like this where they're being undercut by alpha investments and other gold medal winners? What local game store is going to buy a product for 70 only to sit at their shelves for 20 or less? There are multiple boxes right now around 20 to $30. Those boxes were bought by these stores at 70 and then sold on TCG Player at a massive loss. There are many other lies like the event, oh, we're going to pay the players. That one's pretty obvious. They ended up not paying the players in 2023. They, oh, hey guys, we want to focus on gameplay by not, or we want to focus on, uh, what is it, events by not having events or competitive play. This is just not right. And I do feel bad for the MetaZoo players because they got hosed. 